Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so this is going to be a quick video. Um, I don't think there's a way to post pictures and whatnot in the comment section. I don't think. If there is, you can let me know. Uh, but anyway, somebody, I think his name was First Last or First and Last, I don't remember. Uh, but he asked a good question about the, uh, the electro etching I did from the gunfight guy. Uh, or dogfight, not gunfight, I always get that confused. Dogfight Inc. Um, on their uh, stencils and stuff for the electro etching. And he was asking about the depth of how deep they cut and how, like, how, how defined it is and if it's, how it holds up to uh, anodizing and uh, coating, like Cerakote and whatnot. And I have, the first one I did, I Cerakoted. The second one I did, I uh, anodized it. So I'm just going to show you real quick uh, the anodized one and the Parker, or not Parkerized, the anodized one and the Cerakoted one as well as just comparison of another um, uh, PSA lower that I got. All right, all right. so this is the first one that I did. This is the uh, Cerakoted one, and as you can tell, it still looks pretty good. This is me, that's not the Cerakote that filled in that M. Um, the main thing when you do these is that you have to make sure that you etch completely on everything. Okay, so obviously I did, I tried to get the M16, or the 16A1, and that came out really good, uh, but it does focus, there you go, you can see that M is a little bit messed up, alright, from just looking at it casually like this, you can kind of tell, but a casual passerby is not really going to notice it, uh, you get in and look at it, yeah, it, you can totally see it. Um, but even like the dots after the, for uh, the dots for the, for the millimeter, you know, they came out really, really well. Um, and the only times that anything is really light, that is a problem with me not electro etching it deep enough. If you look at the other one that I did, the, the, uh, anodized one, um, I tried to etch these a little bit deeper, a little bit more consistent, consistently. I still got a little bit of a lightness right here on that M. Um, but everything else, I have no way to measure the actual depth of how deep these cut. Um, but they all came out really, really well, I think. I think honestly um, and again this is this is really light and this is me this is not the Cerakote um, or the stencils even this is this is me not cutting these deep enough okay because th like I said this is the first one that I did and trial and error and I learned on my next time which was this upper or this lower right here and these came out a lot deeper and a lot more defined um, Again, I wish I could measure the actual depth, but they, it came out really, really well. I think it looks really, really good. Um, comparing those to a Palmetto State one that I have, you can see on their, on their lettering, it's deep. I don't know how well that would show up or how well you can tell that that's deep. That is deep, all right? That is not coming out. These aren't coming out either. Like if you scrub these out, I guess you could or sanded them out, whatever, you're gonna have a big old divot in your in your upper, or in your lower, sorry, excuse me. Uh, but here, those are super, super, super deep. All right, those are well past your minimum depth requirements by the ATF to have your markings, okay? And then again, up here, you can see these are super deep on their markings. They're safe in fire. Um, and they're nice and deep and crisp and clear. But for a do-it-yourself kind of thing, um, these are totally acceptable. Um, I believe they're deep enough. I believe, do not quote me, I'm not a lawyer. I think the minimum requirements on depth are like 0 .003 or something. It's something that's, it's really not that deep at all. Um, Palmetto State, they just go, obviously they go deep um, just to CYA. Um, but these, I believe, are totally deep enough. Um, they're not actually accidentally gonna get rubbed off. You're gonna have to actually try to take these things off. Anyway, hope that answered your question. Um, and just stay tuned for upcoming videos, hopefully. If I get the time to edit them, uh, we'll get them going and try to spread some more knowledge. All right, y'all be good, be safe. See you in the next video.